Well, she's known as the pioneer woman, Reed Roman's special brand of easy to create country cooking. Her popular blog and her line of best selling cookbooks has inspired millions. She's joining us today with some tips on how to take the stress out of preparing your holiday meals. Reed, it's great to have you here in Nashville. How are you doing? Thank you. It's so great to be here. I'm doing great. It's cold here in Oklahoma. I imagine it is. Well, uh, we'd love to talk about some holiday traditions with you. We always enjoy watching you and your family on your show. Um, what are some of the favorite holiday traditions for the Drummond family? Eating. Right. <laughs> Eating is a, a big thing for us around Christmas. I know that's true uh, for most families, but most of our important traditions are centered around food in some way. What are some of your favorite dishes you like to prepare for the holidays? Well, um, it kind of depends on the category. When it comes to uh, giving gifts to people, I love doing cinnamon rolls and uh, Christmas cookies, you know, the traditional holiday treats. But I also love a big Christmas Eve meal of beef, um, you know, all the delicious side dishes. And we love doing biscuits and gravy on Christmas morning. Um, sometimes we go to my in-laws' house, but that's a real big Christmas tradition for us too. So, as I said, we like to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you do a big Christmas dinner as well? And what's on your table for Christmas dinner? Uh, we do. We we have a big Christmas Eve dinner. That's kind of the big uh, elegant meal um, in our house, and we sort of um, vary on who hosts it. Um, this year, I'm excited because I have a holiday line at Walmart, so it is totally mix and match, and that's what I love about it. It's pretty casual, and I just have beautiful patterns: um, red and white check, Christmas tree, poinsettias. And so my big trick when it comes to um, any big Christmas meal that I'm hosting is planning ahead. So one of the things uh, I like to do is actually set the table ahead. So the day or two before Christmas Eve, it's not unusual <laughs> to see my table looking like this. Um, sometimes I enlist the kids to help me and see what kind of um, fun they can come up with. But you know, anything I can mark off my list um, in the days leading up to the big event that I'm hosting, um, it just makes it that much more stress-free. I, I think that's, that's a great idea. Because you don't want to have, you don't want your kids to have memories of you going, ah, <laughs> you know, when company's coming over. You want them to remember the fun and, and you know, so I try to be as calm, cool, and collected as humanly possible when I'm having company over. Well, not to mention, you want to be part of the celebration, too, and not always be the one that's in the kitchen. That's so true. I mean, I think you do get into the trap where if you're doing all the cooking, you just think, well, I, my place is in the kitchen and everybody else can have fun. But, you know, that's not really what um, having company over is all about. They want to be with you, too. And so, you know, I'm asked a lot about this on my blog and, um, you know, people who watch my show, you know, how do you how do you cook for a group and not be stressed out? And my number one secret is not that I am Wonder Woman, it's that I start ahead of time. So, you know, a week or two, a week before the, the big event, I'll go to um, the supermarket or I'll send my husband to Walmart with my list and, you know, we'll get everything we need a good week in advance, put it all away. And then I start going through the recipes I'm gonna make and I literally map it out day by day leading up to the event. So what can I do five days before? Um, you know, that might be chopping veggies and putting them in the fridge. And four days before, I can make pie crusts and, and start, you know, prepping some of the veggies for the side dishes and, you know, setting the table three days in advance if you have the, the space. And so, you know, the point is, is you don't want to save it all for the day of. Um, so anything you can do um, the day before even helps you be a more relaxed hostess. That sounds like a great plan. Reed, thanks so much for sharing your ideas with us today, and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much. Say hi to Nashville. We definitely will. All right, for more information on the tips that Reed gave us today, you can go to our website at newschannel5.com.